hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions. That's how much Senator Tom Udall says it's going to cost you, the taxpayer, to clean up Los Alamos National Labs' waste. We're talking about a lot of money. But he and National Energy Secretary Ernest Moniz agree it needs to be done. We've got to do the cleanup. Los Alamos admits it started dumping arsenic and plutonium into the ground in 1943 during the Manhattan Project and the early Cold War. There were concerns for years when snow would melt or when there was flooding, where that waste, the contaminated soil, would go. So the state started excavating, bagging up that soil, transporting it to waste disposal. The contractor was almost completely done with that cleanup. But then the waste isolation pilot plant caught fire and shut down in 2014. It was a key component in the process. It was a big setback. That accident came at the absolute worst time. With nowhere to take that contaminated soil, we're told that waste has piled up yet again. Lanel is basically starting over. Every day they discover more about how they're going to do it. And sometimes you have breakthroughs and you can do things quicker. Sometimes it slows you down, uh, but it's going to be a while. We're told it will likely take years, if not decades, to get rid of all of Los Alamos's currently contaminated soil. I'm Angela Brower, KUAT Action 7 News.